Uh, thank you, Senator. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak on the bill. And I want to congratulate you, Senator, on, on, and Minister, on, on be bringing this bill to the House. And it must be a huge honour to be here as a Senator and as Minister, only the fifth in the history of the state and, um, and only the first in my lifetime. So it is a huge, truly historic day for you. And um, standing as a Shannador in this chamber for the first time also, um, it's great that we're, we feel like we're finally home. Um, I welcome this bill. I welcome any bill that will fix the backlog of applications for forestry. I think we will agree on many issues and the, val the value of forestry is huge, economically, socially, environmentally. The backlog of applications is scandalous and it has had a detrimental effect on the, on the number of tree plants, plantations in this country. And you know, this, this bill will secure the forestry employment um, to, into the future. I've had constituents contact me several times, hundreds of times, of queries as to where their applications are, what's the delay, what's the problem, and so on. It always came back, you're waiting for ecologist reports, or waiting for reports back. So it was most welcome that you've deployed 13 extra ecologists as well. And I welcome the changes you made to the bill, and I congratulate you on taking into consideration those nearly 9,000 submissions made, and it shows the interest and the importance of forestry in the country. Economically, forestry is vital. We have excellent climate for tree growth and we, and we should embrace that. We also need to encourage the planting of the right trees. And I was very heartened to hear you on the radio at the weekend echoing that opinion. We do have to ensure the balance is right. Yes, commercial forestry is crucial and needs to be protected. And should, if we had pl planned correctly, we would not need to plant Sitka spruce. There needs to be a proper balance. And I believe Sitka spruce are destructive to the landscape and, I do, not, and do not promote our native biodiversity. I, I may be accused of being a little bit radical when it comes to my dislike for Sitka, but I won't apologise for it. I believe the state's relentless subsidised Sitka spruce deforestation programme is causing environmental problems. Irish bur animals, birds and fish species are being driven to into extinction because of their natural habitat being replaced by our natural conifer forests. We need more ecological nationalism in this country. We need to protect our native trees and the department should be doing more to encourage and promote the planting of native Irish trees. It was these trees that originally grew in this land and it was these plants and the trees that support and protected our first settlers. Many native Irish trees act as a food source for insects and, that, and mammals, whilst many non-native trees do not have similar benefits. It is suggested that the lowly and common hawthorn can, can support about 200 different insect species. This link of native flora and native fauna is important to highlight and to remember. And I would ask, the department, has the department done an extensive scientific environmental study on the effects of Sitka spruce plantations on the Irish countryside, including water quality, irreversible changes to the landscape, pest control side effects, as it is internationally recognised that the introduction of exotic tree species are inherently more vulnerable to pest and disease organisms than indigenous tree species. And I would also like to ask when the backlog is hoped to be cleared, and how many licences does the Minister believe will be granted this year and per annum going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.